So what we're going to talk about now are the Navier-Stokes equations. These are the most fundamental governing set of equations for all of fluid mechanics. So here they are, just for you to stare at and be overwhelmed with for a minute. What we're talking about are differential control volumes now. And so these are infinitesimally small. If we apply the conservation of mass and the conservation of momentum to a tiny differential sized element, the result will be these set of equations, which are called the Navier-Stokes equations. They're just named for the people that invented them. So let's dissect for a minute, and then we'll dig into these in future videos. First, let's look at the mass equation. What you can see here is a term that is in time, and then three terms that are in space for each of our three coordinate directions, in this case because it's Cartesian, x, y, and z. And you'll notice that the velocity components that show up in each of these are corresponding with those directions. And so this is the u, or the x velocity, the v is the y velocity, and w is the z velocity. And so you have this transient term here, and then you have the three spatial terms. And each of these is a partial differential, and so this is a partial differential equation, and it is transient. When you apply the conservation momentum, you end up with three equations, one in each direction, unless you like to write this in vector form, in which case this all collapses into one vector equation. Uh, and I've only s shared two of them with you here, just to avoid the overwhelm of seeing too much on the screen. What you should take note of is that the momentum equations have, on the left-hand side, this is essentially the sum of the forces and on the right-hand side, what you're really looking at is mass times acceleration. This part in parentheses here, that's the acceleration. You've seen that before when we talked about kinematics of fluids. And so we have the spatial, or I'm sorry, the local derivative along with the convective derivative in the x direction. And we're going to multiply that by rho. That's kind of like m times a, except we're going to work on a per volume basis. On the left-hand side, we have all the different forces that can take place. This term here is called the body force. If gravity happened to point in the x direction, then this would be acceleration due to gravity, although it could be other things like uh, electromagnetic forces or even molecular things. And so that term only tends to show up for what we're talking about with uh, gravity, and so it'll only be a non-zero value in one of the coordinate directions. And then what we have here are three terms that represent the stresses acting on the different sides of our differential element. And so, again, since this is a per volume thing, uh, these are like forces when you multiply them by areas. And so we'll get into what those mean in a future video. What I'd like to show you, though, are the assumptions that are made for a Newtonian fluid. You've seen before this version of the shear stress, which says that the shear stress looks like mu du dy, and that's only a partial truth. In reality, shear stresses act on multiple faces of this three-dimensional cube, which you'll see soon enough. And so there's always two terms that end up uh, appearing. One, in, So here you can see they're kind of a cross-derivative thing, so it's du dy and dv dx, just enjoy that pattern for a minute. Uh, and then these normal stresses are the ones acting in the, in the same direction. So like in the x direction, you have the pressure acting on the face. And there's actually a little bit of a molecular bond, this normal stress that pulls on uh, neighboring molecules. If we take those assumptions and sub them into the conservation of mass and momentum up here, you do a little bit of manipulation and you end up with a thing called the Navier-Stokes equations. The next few videos are going to show you the details of that and then the more important thing, how to use them to get something done.